And here's your cat. Okay, go. Do you have your artwork? Yeah, I do. Okay, hold on. There you go. This is your artwork. Oh, can you sweet. Play this? Oh, yes. Hi, how are Hi. you? I'm Kat. Hi, I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is very cool. Thank you. So what do you, where do you want to get it? So I want to get it right here. Okay, cool. And um, I'm a neuroscientist, so nice. I wanted to have like a little neuroscience theme to it. Very cool. So I was hoping that maybe we could get like neuroscience here. Uh -huh. And then I really want to have it say my brain hurts in Latin somewhere. Okay. The skeleton in my tattoo signifies how much I love my job and that I plan to do it forever. I mean, he's a skeleton, so he's obviously not really around anymore, right? He's dead or whatever. But he's still reading. And it's like, if I could, I'd probably just keep on doing it, even if I was, you know, dead. <laughs> well, I'll draw something up for you and I'll show it to you in a minute. Okay, thank awesome. you. Sarah's tattoo was just cool to begin with, and she totally gave me like creative freedom to kind of go off. So I was really stoked on it. So, I kind of get the idea like this. That's so cool. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to get to actually fit it where it's yeah. legible, but it looks great. And I wasn't quite sure exactly what kind of lettering I wanted to do, but I left that up to her, and it came out beautiful. So cool. Totally. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I love it. It's probably my first neuroscience tattoo. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, totally. Cool, here we go. So you are a neuroscientist? Yeah. What does that mean? Well, I work for a pharmaceutical company. I'm hoping to find drugs that will cure like Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's disease. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fun though. I love doing it because you know that something that you've worked on is going to help somebody. I have always wanted to be a scientist, even as a little kid. I had this closet that was my lab, and I used to get in trouble all the time for mixing chemicals together, making my potions, and. My parents are both in the medical profession, so there was a lot of medical journals around the house while I was growing up, and when I would just want to read something, I would grab one of those. Like, if you come from, like, a background where your parents are both, like, in the medical field, like, I would think that they're probably not that stoked on all your tattoos, right? Yeah, well, my parents are really conservative and religious. Yeah, same here. And so the whole thing was they see people with tattoos or piercings, and so they're like, you know, those people aren't going to do much with their lives, and I'm like, well, how could you say something like that, you know? Because they're judgmental. Yeah, exactly, but... I don't know, I just kind of felt like it was a, like a mission of mine to like kind of prove otherwise, you know? Yeah. I think my whole life I've probably been surprising people. Like, maybe when they first meet me, they might meet me at a, you know, at a concert. And then they're like, oh, so what do you do, you know? And who knows, maybe they thought I worked at Starbucks or something. And I'm like, no, I'm a neuroscientist. And they're like, really? Oh my god, you don't look like a neuroscientist. But you know, the, the cool part about it is like, after talking to you for like five seconds, you can tell you're pretty <laughs> smart, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so it's like, most people think, oh, if you're tattooed or you're a hoodlum or something, you're probably not that educated. It's always nice when you, like, prove somebody wrong. Yeah, exactly. When you meet people like Sarah, it's refreshing, you know, because there are a lot of stigmas when it comes to tattooing, and, you know, people like Sarah help those situations. Cool. Are you ready to check it out? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, my God. Is it neuroscientific enough? Oh my god, totally. And you can totally read neuroscience so yeah, well. Yeah. Mom and dad's gonna kill you. <laughs> I knew with Kat doing my tattoo that it would look pretty realistic, but I didn't expect it to look as real as it does, being that it was so small. But the detail is amazing. Like the bones, the highlights on the fingers, and on the actual book itself. She was able to put neuroscience and a brain, which I wasn't really sure if it would be possible. She far surpassed my expectations. Dude, it was so good. Thank you so much. It's awesome. So Thank much fun so to much. tattoo you. I was really happy with the tattoo when it was done. Like, I could tell that Sarah was really stoked on it. And, um, you know, we both love what we do. And um, to be able to wear it on your sleeve, that's just priceless.